guys, we are going to talk push-ups today. So have you ever seen someone say, I can do 50 push-ups, and all of a sudden you see them execute it, and they kind of go like, <laughs> like so? Okay, probably not super effective uh, and not super safe. So I'm just gonna give you some tips to make it a little bit more effective. I would recommend starting on your knees, okay? And you can keep your knees slightly apart. I want you to bring your hands back and just slightly outside of your shoulders. Core is tight, if you can look at my back, you're gonna notice that there's no sway in it, okay? So tuck that bum under and set your shoulders. So think about pressing your shoulders down towards your knees, okay? Chest is going to landmark between your hands and your elbows are gonna go back on about a 45 degree angle or think about the elbows aiming for four o'clock and eight o'clock, okay? So we're gonna slowly lower without breaking our form and press. Okay, always controlling your movement, nice and slow. Another good cue is here is push those hands hard into the floor. So making sure the shoulders are down and your spine is in alignment, your chin is not jutting up or tucked into your chest, okay? So once you kind of have that conquered, then you can start lifting the knees. If you're even finding that being on your knees is very challenging, then go to an elevated surface Okay, and you can do the exact same thing. Okay, so nice and slowly and marking the chest between the hands and the elbows are going back, okay, at the four and eight o'clock position. It's a great home exercise you can add into your repertoire. So you've got planks you can do and you got push-ups, okay? Hang in there, stay safe.